Simply put, a cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency that is secured by cryptography, which makes it very very difficult to counterfeit or double spend. Further, for most cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, each transaction is stored on a digital ledger called blockchain, which is distributed and decentralized. Here is how that works. A blockchain, as the name suggests, is a chain of blocks with each block containing information about a cryptocurrency transaction. Now this blockchain ledger is being managed by several nodes which are computers situated around the world hence it is called a distributed ledger so if someone wants to hack into the blockchain ledger and shift things around they would have to hack into all the computers or nodes managing the blockchain that obviously would be very difficult and that brings us to the next most important feature of cryptocurrencies their decentralization let's understand what this means through a comparison the money that we exchange in the form of paper currency or the money that you see in your Google Pay or Phone Pay wallet is issued and regulated by the Reserve Bank of India. The RBI can on its own decide to print more currency or pull some currency notes out of circulation. But in the case of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, there is no single authority that creates new coins or regulates Bitcoin. It has its pros and cons. The good part is that cryptocurrencies can really democratize finance and facilitate quicker cross-border payments for minimal cost among several other benefits. The bad part is that since there is no central authority overseeing these transactions, criminals often use it for nefarious purposes. Crypto is the preferred mode of payment on the dark web for everything ranging from child porn to hacked data. That is why governments around the world shy away from legalizing cryptocurrencies as a form of payment. But that has meant that cryptocurrencies have found another use case as an investment instrument. Their very volatile prices make them high risk high reward investments. Consider this, in April 2021, Bitcoin touched an all time high of $65,000, registering a massive 450% spike in just 6 months. However, soon after, it witnessed a massive fall and lost more than half its value, stabilizing at around $30,000. Finally, let's talk about how cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are made. Continuing with the Bitcoin example, remember that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies don't exist in any physical form. They exist only virtually. So each Bitcoin transaction has to be validated and then entered into the public digital ledger of all Bitcoin transactions. The validation, to put it simply, means checking that the Bitcoins being transferred are real. But this validation is performed by high-powered computers solving complex computational mathematical problems. The computer that manages to solve the problem not only validates the Bitcoin transaction, but is also rewarded with 6.25 Bitcoins. This acts as an incentive for miners to continue making the Bitcoin system work. And this process of validating Bitcoin transactions and thereby adding new Bitcoins to the blockchain is called mining. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.